Doctor after doctor described having to deny or seriously delay care, in some cases refusing to even see pregnant patients before 12 weeks, and giving C-sections to women in order to, quote, preserve the appearance of not doing an abortion. Joining us now, medical director with Physicians for Human Rights and professor of internal medicine and public health at the University of Michigan, Michelle Heisler. She is one of the report's authors. Michelle, it's really great to have you. Um, explain the top line takeaway from this report. Um, yes, um, we did the investigation to really hear from clinicians and patients what their experiences were since uh, since Louisiana introduced uh, really strict abortion bans. Um, only the only exceptions are to preserve the life. Um, of the mother, the pregnant patient, and in cases where the fetus is uh, deemed medically futile. Uh, and we, we, we really wanted to hear from clinicians, from patients, uh, what their experiences had been. Uh, as you said, um, we did hear stories of um, denial of care, uh, delays of care. I mean, it's for a clinician, how do you determine that it's at the point that the pregnant patient's life is at risk? And so we heard um, really harrowing stories of uh, people feeling they had to wait, uh, you know, wait until, you know, maybe the blood pressure was a little bit lower. Um, you have to wait until they're clearly septic before you can offer to terminate uh, the pregnancy. Pregnancy um, delays, uh, you know, topic uh, pregnancies are allowed uh, uh, under the ban, but, you know, making absolutely sure it's an ectopic pregnancy, um, making absolutely sure it's a miscarriage. Um, so subjecting patients to a lot of pain and suffering, um, as well as in a number of cases we heard about um, real risk um, of death. So I, I've heard about the delay to the point of, of sepsis or, um, you know, making sure that the miscarriage is, is happening in other states. What I, what I found new about this report, which I hadn't heard before, is that some women were getting C-sections uh, right. because their babies were not viable. Can you explain the C-section component of this? Because getting it, I mean, I've had two. Getting a C-section is, is horrible, and I, I don't think anybody generally chooses that for themselves, or if they do, I'm not sure why they would. It's, it's pretty horrible pain. Um, what's going on with C-sections? Yeah, I, I will say that that I, I agree with you. That was not a finding that I had even thought about uh, as being a possibility. Um, and um, what we heard, three clinicians told us of cases, and and one of the cases that we we do include in the report. Um, so um, in this one case, an emergency medicine physician was taking care mm -hmm. of a patient who had what's called a previable preterm uh, premature <laughs> rupture uh, of membranes at 20 weeks. Uh, and then that's always not a viable uh, pregnancy. Uh, you know, the, the, the membranes have ruptured. You really have to remove um, the fetus. Um, this is when your water uh, breaks. When your water breaks. Yeah, and at 20 weeks, uh, uh, that, that's not going to be a viable pregnancy. And, and the emergency medicine physician called the OB-GYN, as you do, uh, and the OB-GYN took the patient for a cesarean section. Uh, and um, the emergency medicine physician um, felt that that was because she didn't, the, the OB-GYN didn't want there to be any question that she had performed uh, an illegal abortion. <laughs> um, so again, as you said, subjecting the patient to, uh, and I think I also want to add that, you know, there always are cases where uh, it's the woman's decision to deliver, um, but you always have to give that choice. You know, yeah. do, do you, you want to deliver? Do you, do you want to have what's called a, a dilation and evacuation, which is not invasive? Um, you know, it's not a major abdominal surgery. Uh, and I think it was also very upsetting to this emergency medicine physician that the patient was given no choice. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's antithetical to the practice of medicine. We were trained, uh, you know, I'm a physician, you know, you respect your patient's autonomy, their freedom, uh, their ability um, to, 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 to have a say in, in the decision making. Um, we also heard from two other clinicians of cases uh, where uh, a patient uh, went and, and was given a, what's, I guess, a hysterotomy, a C-section. Um, again, 
again, it's not again, and we can't talk about prevalence because we were really wanting to hear the stories of these 30 clinicians. Uh, but in these cases, um, they did say that there are increasingly there aren't physicians in Louisiana that um, are trained and able to do to do dilation and evacuations. And um, we did speak to one of the physicians who still is doing those. Some facilities are just not doing them. Um, so I again, you know, could it be in part that you don't have people trained to do yeah. these procedures, so they have to either deliver or uh, do a C-section, or because there's so much fear, um, there's so much fear of, of being, um, you know, facing the severe criminal penalties the, that people don't even want to have the appearance. The doctors uh, an abortion. are clearly very scared. And there were examples of, of a woman being refused care at multiple uh, doctor's offices until she got through the first 12 weeks mm -hmm. of her pregnancy, because that's the time when most miscarriages happen. And that and the doctors didn't want to be involved if there was a miscarriage. They wanted them to get through that period and then come to them when they found it would be felt it would be safer for them to treat that woman. That is extreme. Usually, if you think you're pregnant, you go to the doctor and the doctor helps you immediately because Again, it's a it's a very delicate time. Um, Dr. Heisler, thank you so much for joining us.